Uh, welcome to another lesson. In this video, we are looking at uh, a CASNEB exam that was tested in May 2018. And it's a continuation of series of questions that we have discussed before. And uh, we are uh, specifically looking at the questions on calculus. Uh, we had covered uh, integration and uh, uh, differentiation in details. Let's look at... Uh, the practical application of the same concept in exam situation. Now, uh, in May 2018, uh, this question was question number 1B. This question carried how many marks? This question carried uh, 8 marks. So, what was expected to you as a student uh, when it came to this question? Now, the question reads, the unit price and the total cost function association associated with the production and sales of a certain electrical components are given by the following equation. P is equals 100 minus 5Q. And uh, TC is equals Q squared plus 4Q plus 300 in thousands of shillings. Where P is the unit price of the electrical component and Q is the number of electrical components produced and sold and tc is the total cost required determine the number of electrical components that would maximize profit now uh, as a student you need to know how do you get profit how do you get profit yeah profit how do you get profit you get profit by having the total revenue, you minus the total, the total cost. So, uh, and what is total revenue? What is total revenue? Total revenue, uh, total revenue should be equal to price times quantities if you want to know how much revenue you have should be equal to price times quantity so my total revenue in this question i've already been given price which is 100 minus 5q i'm going to multiply by q so that i'm able to get the revenue function so here i will have 100 q minus 5q squared <coughs> this being the revenue function. Now, I've already been given the total cost function. So, I'll come here and say my pi, which is profit. Over this point, uh, having done similar uh, examples before, you know profit is abbreviated pi. So, my profit pi will be my total revenue, 100q minus 5q squared minus the total cost already have the cost function q squared plus 4q plus 300 here we are going to have 100q minus 5q squared minus q squared minus 4q minus 300 this one will give me uh, this is 100Q. Of course, when you open the bracket, I'm obeying the, 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 the rules of uh, multiplication. That means negative times positive gives me negative. So here, I will have 100Q minus 4Q. What do you get? Should give me 96. So here, I'm going to have 96Q. Minus 5Q squared minus Q squared. This is going to give me 6Q squared then minus 300 now this one is called a profit function but the question is asking you the number of electrical components that would maximize profit so to maximize profit yeah so i can come here and say at maximum profit at maximum at maximum profit, what do you expect? D pi, 
BQ should give me 0. So differentiate the profit function. You'll find 0 is equals to 96 minus 12Q. So 12Q is equals to 96. Divide by 12, divide by 12, and Q is equals to what? Pick your calculator and confirm that if I take 96, if I take 96 divided by 12, I get 8. So my Q is equals to 8. This is what is expect, was expected to students. Eh? Q is 8 units. So this is the number of electrical components that would maximize profit. Now, part 2, you are asked now get the maximum profit. Uh, the profit function is 96Q minus 6Q squared minus 300. I already know the maximum profit at maximum profit at maximum profit, I have calculated the Q. Q is 8. Yeah. So substitute a 8 in the profit function. Here I will have pi is equals to 96 times 8 minus 6 into 8 squared minus 300. 96 times 8, pick your calculator. 96 times 8, this give me. 768 minus 64 times 64 times 6 this give me 384 384 minus 300 this gives me what 768 minus 684 what will be the maximum profit and remember this were told the one thousand of shillings so this i will have uh, 768 minus 684. This give me 84. This 84 were in thousands of shillings. Eh? So, uh, uh, since I've been working on them in that, so you can see here, you see that all these are in thousands of shillings. So, this will be 84,000. And this will be or this is 84,000 because the question tells you that the figures were in thousands of shillings. Now, we are asked to find the maximum revenue. Uh, that is part three, the maximum revenue. What is the revenue function? Revenue function, total revenue. Let's go back to our expression above. We say that... Uh, Total revenue is 100Q minus 5Q squared. Total revenue is 100Q, 100Q minus 5Q squared. At maximum revenue, at maximum, at maximum revenue, at maximum revenue, D, total revenue, DQ should give me 0. Differentiate this, you have 0. Find the derivative of 100 Q, you get 100 minus 10 Q. Rearranging this one, you find 10 Q is 100 and Q is equals to 10. Now, once I find Q, I'm able now to find maximum total revenue. Maximum total revenue. Maximum total revenue. Uh, this is maximum total revenue becomes substitute uh, total revenue, substitute my Q, that is 100 into Q minus 5 into 10 squared. This give me 1000 minus 500. And this one will be 1000 minus 500. So, or the 1000 of shillings, you can just say 500,000. But 500 is still convenient because you're working with figures in thousands of shillings. So that's how we find the maximum revenue. Now, um, to you as a student, you see Casinab expected you to work out this way so that you could score 
all the maximum uh, marks. Otherwise, you can see uh, the way we have discussed uh, previously is still the same concept that comes in your exams. So keep revising and we meet in the next video. Thank you.